looking forward to that. And how is Seoul's Foreign Affairs Ministry responding to the latest announcement coming from North Korea? We now connect live to our Connie Kim, who is standing by at the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Connie, what's the latest there? Well, Daniel, at around 3.40 p.m., South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-hae met with Mark Lippert, the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, and General Curtis Scaparotti, the commander of the U.S. forces Korea. Yoon uh, reportedly explained Seoul's assessment of North Korea's nuclear test claim and called for close coordination between the allies' diplomatic and defense authorities. The three agreed to cooperate on maintaining a strong defense posture in light of the North's claim. Yoon is also reportedly in the process of talking with the foreign ministers of the U.S., China and Japan. Now, earlier in the day, the ministry condemned Pyongyang for the nuclear test. Take a listen to what Vice Foreign Minister Im Song nam had to say. North Korea's provocation is a clear violation of United Nations Security Council resolutions. In a situation like this, the Foreign Affairs Ministry sees a need for swift active measures. Around 20 officials were at the meeting, including those who deal with the UN sanctions against North Korea and the Foreign Ministry's Director of Nuclear Nonproliferation. The ministry said it will be maintaining its state of emergency and will take steps to ensure the safety of Korean citizens living abroad. As Hyunbin mentioned earlier in his report, the Foreign Affairs Ministry says an interesting factor here is that Pyongyang did not notify the U.S. or China in advance of the test. Now, this is a different pattern from the past when North Korea did let Washington and Beijing know it was planning to conduct a nuclear test. Being its usual unpredictable self, well, Connie, how is the international community responding to the announcement from North Korea? Well, North Korea may be finding itself more isolated in the international community. Now, China, Pyong Pyongyang's a longtime ally, uh, issued a statement saying it strongly opposes the hydrogen bomb test conducted by North Korea. Beijing's foreign affairs ministry urged Pyongyang to abide by its international obligations. The White House said it cannot confirm Pyongyang's hydrogen bomb claim, but it condemns any violation of UN Security Council resolutions that ban North Korea from nuclear tests. Neighboring country Japan said a North Korean nuclear test is a threat to Japan's security. And now taking this to a further level, at 11 a.m. on Wednesday in New York, that'll be 1 a.m. on Thursday in Korea, the United Nations Security Council will meet to discuss North Korea's claim. They're expected to condemn the test and discuss slapping sanctions against the regime. Uh, looking at the past, it took between 5 to 23 days for the U.N. to slap sanctions on North Korea after previous tests. Back to you, Daniel.